In this morning's Health Watch, losing weight for your heart. We know obesity is a risk factor for heart disease, which is the number one cause of death in the United States. Joining us this morning with five simple ways to not only shed pounds, but tune up your ticker at the same time, is Dr. Travis Stork, who is, of course, host of The Doctors here on CBS. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks for having oh, me. Always nice when you, come, when you come into New York and we can get a little advice here in our studio from you. I'm glad to be here. You're also an ER doc, which people may or may not know. So you see firsthand what obesity can do to someone, especially when it comes to their heart. Why is it so important? Well, you know, being an ER doctor drives a lot of my passion when it comes to the things we talk about on the doctor. So obesity, people don't realize this, a true epidemic of our times. And obesity in and of itself, even if you don't have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, is a major risk factor when it comes to heart disease, the number one killer of both men and women. We need to get the message out because there are so many simple things people can do to reverse the trend. And we're gonna start that this morning. We are. Right here on The Early Show. Yes. You have five simple fixes for us, which won't take too much thought and will have a big payoff at the end of the day. The first one being, get rid of the salt. Well, and you know, this isn't as much about weight as it is a major silent killer, which is high blood pressure in our society. Sodium is a major problem. We're eating way too much of it. We started a campaign on the doctors called Halt the Salt. So mm -hmm. we're asking people, try to limit yourself to 1,500 milligrams a day or less of sodium. You have to look at labels mm -hmm. because 80% of the salt we get in our diet is not from what we make at home. It's from the packaged goods that we get at the store. So we need to focus on that. Buy low sodium versions, pinch of salt. Don't use the salt shaker when okay. you're preparing foods at home. It can make a huge difference in your heart health over the long term because a third of us are walking around with high blood pressure and we don't know it. And as you get used to less salt, you may find that your food actually tastes better. Spices, you get to taste the herbs, food. yes, exactly. We love that. You also say to drink a glass of ice water before your meal. What does that do for you? Well, if your viewers could do one thing starting today, a glass of ice water, you may eat fewer or you may eat 20% fewer calories during that meal. Plus, it teaches you to not always grab that soda mm -hmm. or sugar water during your meal. So you also cut calories in that way, and you stay hydrated to boot. I love that. And 20% fewer calories, I'm in. <laughs> uh, when it comes to snacking, it's really important that you snack on something that's healthy. You say nuts can be a wonderful snack. You know, nuts are one of those things where, especially for someone like myself, I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. So I always have a bag of mixed nuts, unsalted or low salt, getting back to the sodium. But it can replace one of your unhealthy snacks during the day. Heart healthy fats, mm -hmm. good proteins. This is a snack I always talk about on the doctors as my go-to. And this is a lot of places now. I mean, I actually travel with those two. I always have packs of almonds and you can buy individual serving ones, but you can even count out your own to bring with you, right? You can, and I always tell people, if you're looking to save money, if you buy nuts in bulk, really inexpensive given how much you can get for, for that big container. Yeah. And then I make my own. Yeah. Perfect. We hear so much about um, about what you have to eat, but you also have to move, of course. And this is a little something that you have an acronym for called NEAT, N-E-A-T, which involves more than just gym time when it comes to moving. What is that? Well, it, this is NEAT. It really is. So it's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And what I'm telling people is you don't have to go to the gym to be fit. You just need to get on your feet more. We have what we call sitting disease in this country where we do. We just, at our jobs, we're always sitting, we're watching TV, we're sitting. So simple things. When you're at the mall, go ahead and take the stairs, not the escalator. Get on your feet when you're making phone calls. Mm -hmm. Park in that space further from the supermarket so you can walk to, into the store and get some extra exercise. And just whenever you're waiting, whether it's for an airplane or anything else, just get on your feet. You will burn extra calories up to three, 400 more a day. Wow, that's great. And such small changes, which is what's so great about all of these things, because we can all walk around while we're on the phone, obviously. Yes, it, it takes no extra time. No extra time. Um, another thing we hear a lot about, healthy fats, omega-3s, fish, at least two servings of fish a week, correct? Is what we should American have. Heart Association recommends two servings of fish a week. Obviously, you can't always get that. That's why a lot of folks, your doctors, will recommend to take a fish oil supplement because it really does or can improve mm -hmm. heart health. So talk to your doctor if you're at risk for heart disease and he or she may recommend and is this good, some sort of a supplement good for someone who may not necessarily like the taste of fish? You can still just take that capsule and sort of bypass it a little bit? Well, again, Maybe. Maybe. Okay. And, and go for the, there are burp free versions. Yes, I've heard that's you, key. <laughs> I you don't highly really recommend want the fish those. oil coming exactly. back up, do you? <laughs> Dr. Travis Stork, great to have you with us. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you for having me.